Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm really excited to be sharing with you a spa day that you can recreate at home. I'm sharing so many fun ideas in this video, like a really easy but delicious smoothie recipe, also a DIY face mask, and I wanna say thank you to the makers of Glade for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys their newest candle, which is the Exotic Tropical Blossoms candle. It smells amazing, and it totally sets the entire mood for this video because it smells like you're at the beach, so it's very pampering and relaxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you do, and let's go ahead and jump into it. Typically, I like making a spa water when I have a pamper session, but today I'm going to be doing a smoothie, and I love the color of the smoothie and it's packed with nutrients, antioxidants. I'm using pineapple, mango, unsweetened Greek yogurt, half a banana, and then my secret ingredient is blue spirulina, which is basically algae. There's no artificial coloring in this. When you put this in your smoothie, this is what turns your smoothie this gorgeous, ocean water color. This little powder is also packed with antioxidants. So not only is it absolutely beautiful, but it's also really good for you. And also for some healthy fats, I'm gonna be adding some MCT coconut oil. Also love adding lots of ice because I like mine to be super ice cold. And then I add a splash of milk. You could always add coconut milk if you have it. I think that would be so delicious. And I think it's plenty sweet this way, um, but it's really gonna depend on how ripe your banana is. If it's not sweet enough, you could always add half a date and that should do a trick or you can always do uh, maple syrup or honey. By the way, you guys, I'm super congested, so I apologize if I sound super nasally. Right before I serve it, I top it with a little bit of flax seed. You could totally do the flax seed in the blender, but I like to just add it on top. Now that my smoothie is made, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the area where I'm gonna have my little spa. And of course you cannot have a spa day without a candle. And right now I'm gonna be using the Glade Exotic Tropical Blossom Three Wick Candle. It smells amazing and I feel like it's the perfect candle to light for a pamper session because it smells like the beach. So you close your eyes after having a facial mask on and you are just transported to a tropical paradise. It's so fun. Just think of all the things beach related. That is what this candle reminds me of. It has notes of kiwi mango, also some jasmine, and then the base notes are made of coconut milk, vanilla, and amber. So it does have that like really warm scent to it, but it's also very tropical. Like you guys just need to smell it. And something that my husband pointed out and he was so right, he said it smells completely different when it's lit. Like it just smells amazing um, compared to the way that it smells when you smell it directly in the packaging. And I could not agree more. Like, so I'm going to make sure to link this candle down in the info box so definitely go check it out. By the way, the whole reason I decided to have a pamper day is because I ended up taking off my dip powder nails. As you guys know, all of the nail salons have been closed for almost two weeks now and I could not take it anymore so I decided to put on press-on nails and it's like the best decision ever because it's a lot more affordable than going to the salon and it was so easy. I basically just made sure to file down at the top of my nails just enough to where it wasn't shiny anymore. And then I made sure to spray it with alcohol to make sure to remove any type of oil or anything like that. And the press on nails that I'm using are from Kiss. And then I also used a separate glue. I find that the glue that comes with the nails don't really work that well. So I just ordered one that I like from Amazon. And then another little trick is to actually put the glue directly on your nail and then apply the nail. And the last thing I always do when I do press on nails is I reshape all the nails. I didn't like how pointy these were and some of them fit me a little bit wide. So I just filed down the ends of it and also the sides and you guys can see the difference. The hand on the right is filed and then the hand on the left is not filed and you guys can see how the right hand just looks so much more natural. So back to the pamper session, I also made my own face mask and it's so easy. Um, so I used a type of dried flower. I already had lavender, but if you have any type of dried herb, dried flower, like dry roses or anything like that, you can use that um, and also oatmeal. And if you don't have any type of dried flower, do not worry. You can still make this face mask. Just use oatmeal and that's it. Put it in a grinder or in a blender. I 
I did leave mine a little bit chunky because I wanted it to be like an exfoliator as well. But definitely feel free to keep mixing until it becomes a fine powder. And I'm gonna be storing this mixture so that I can use it for lots of different things. You can also use this, mixing it with some oil and use it to exfoliate your skin, your legs, your hands. But today I'm actually gonna be making it into a face mask. Um, so I'm using honey as my base. And then I'm also gonna be adding coconut oil as my moisturizer. So I'm putting both of those in a separate container and then when it comes time to actually putting the mask on, I'm gonna mix it all and I will show you guys how I do that. The first thing I did was cleanse my skin off of any impurities. I had already washed my face, um, but I just took some micellar water on a cotton pad and just gently removed any dirt that was kind of lingering. And then I went ahead and added this lip oil to my lips. This is from Jouer. It is so good. It seriously makes my lips so soft. And then I went ahead and prepped a little steaming session. So I boiled some hot water. I got a large bowl and then I just filled that bowl up with that boiling water to create some steam. And you can also add essential oils to this. Lavender essential oil is a really good one to add to this. Um, or if you wanna do like an antibacterial, you could do like tea tree oil. It's totally up to you. I decided to leave the water plain. Um, just because my skin is feeling kind of sensitive right now and I wanted to just use the steam to open up my pores and get it ready for that face mask. So I went ahead and started creating my face mask. So I took that mixture of oatmeal with lavender and I mixed it into my honey and then I added just a little bit of that coconut oil. This is such a good mask for dry skin. The lavender is very calming and soothing. The oatmeal is very moisturizing. Um, and the coconut oil, of course, is also moisturizing and honey is moisturizing, but also antibacterial. So I like to either listen to like an audible book or a podcast. These are a couple podcasts that I've been obsessed with. One is called Serial and the other one is called Criminal. These are true crime podcasts. A lot of them will go back in time and like reopen cases and it's just a lot of fun to try to solve it with them. I also just started watching this show called Little Fires Everywhere but it's also a book. So that's another really good recommendation if you guys are looking for something fun to like watch or read. So after about 15 minutes, I go ahead and remove the mask with a washcloth first. And since the honey is pretty sticky, I did have to go in and rinse it off. But this is the time when you can kind of gently exfoliate your skin. And I love double masking when I'm having a spa night. So I'm applying this mask that's only for the eyes. It's pretty fine. It's from Glam Glow. And then on the rest of my face, I added this Hyaluronic C Serum. And I just massaged it into my skin using my Rose Quartz Roller. I love this roller. It's seriously so cooling and it just deep puffs my skin. It's so good. I patted any serum that was left into my skin and then I went in with my eye cream. This is from It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eyes. It's really moisturizing. And then I added my nighttime cream, which the one I've been loving is from Fresh. It's so moisturizing. It has a really light scent to it, which I love. And yeah, it just feels so good. And then I sealed everything off with this overnight sleeping mask. This is an avocado melt retinol mask. I use very little of it because it can be pretty strong if you're not used to retinol. I just apply a thin layer, but I love the way my skin feels in the morning. It wakes up feeling so soft. And then I finish everything off with my rose quartz roller just to make sure that all of that product is pushed into my skin. And my skin feels so good. I feel so refreshed. Honestly though, I think my favorite part of this entire pamper routine was the steaming session. It was so relaxing and, and like so comforting. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, thank you so much to Glade for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the exotic tropical blossoms three-wick candle. I'm going to have a link down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.